Hello and welcome to this Unity game development series. My name is Mahin and in this series we are going to make a simple shooting game. This is the lesson 1 so let's get started. Before we start the lesson I want to tell you the basic idea of our game. So as you can see here uh, this is the basic idea of our game. Uh, this is a ball and this is they are our can and what we want is we want to shoot these cans with our ball so when we click and release the button this ball will shoot uh, these cans now uh, we have open up unity and uh, we have a blank scene here so let's start it so, uh, first of all i would like to make a platform from which we can shoot our ball so by I'm uh, right click here and go to 3d and cube This will be our platform from where we can shoot the ball. As you can see in this image, this one is the first platform. This is the base of the can and this is the ball. And 2.5, 2.5. Okay, I want to move my camera just a little bit back and I want to place before this camera I want to set up my FOV of camera to 38 I've already calculated this is pretty good for viewing angle and just just okay uh, I want to reduce the intensity of uh, my light as you can see this right now this is very bright this time okay we have prepared our this is our platform now I'm going to create my ball so I go to 3d and I'm going to create a sphere I'm going to put this on platform okay so right now it's looking small so I'm making it a little bit bigger 1.5 and 1.5 okay and now it's fine and uh, another platform for the can where we going to shoot so this one is there Okay, right now I have a basic setup of my camera, my ball, my platform, and this is another platform where we will place our cans. Uh, let me quickly uh, rename all the things. So I am making an empty game object name, and under this is the parent game object under which we're gonna place all, all our game objects. So I'm naming it to game scene, SC game scene, and this is our can base, and this is our ball, and this one is our ball base. And I am parenting under the game scene. Okay. Okay. So I have basic game scene setup. Now I'm going to create material for them. I've already prepared textures for ball and the base platform, uh, which you can download 
you can download the whole project project from the description link below so i'm creating a new folder for texture and one for material i'm going to import my textures here you can see this is the ball and the base texture import messages and I'm going to create two material, one for ball and one for platforms. So this is a create material ball and base and this is ball texture and this is platform. For the ball, I want to reduce this smoothness, and I'm going to use uh, legacy shader, self illumination, diffuse. I choose this material because uh, I like the way it looks in the scene. I'm, I'm assigning this material to ball, and this one to base. Okay. It's a little bit bright, so I'm just adjusting my material slightly bit. Okay, that's it. Also, I'm uh, changing the tiling of the material to and 0.5. This is just working fine for me. Let me make this bigger. As you can see, it starts looking a bit nicer. Let me save my scene. I'm um, save the scene. Is a uh, game scene. Game scene. Okay. And uh, okay. So now we have the basic setup. And uh, what uh, we want is do we want to shoot the ball? So why what we want? When we click on this ball, we want this ball to go in this direction and shoot some can. For the can, we I'm going to place uh, I'm going to a dummy object. So 3D and cube. Later we will replace them with the actual 3D can model of cans. So right now this is for just for a reference purpose. Okay, so we want to shoot this can. The uh, 3D part is done. Now let's uh, make the ball work. So, to give the functionality to shooting the ball. First, uh, we want to create an empty game object and name it game manager. And we're going to attach our script to this object. So we're going to create a new folder for the script folder scripts. I want all my work to be organized way. C sharp script and name it game game manager. Okay. Okay. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, I think it's fine. Delete this. So how can we make this thing to shoot on this object? So to shoot on this object, we first we uh, create a reference for this ball. So public game object ball. Sorry, ball. Next, we want to, when we click on the screen, we want the ball to go into the directions. So for that, we need update function 
void update. So if input dot get mouse button get mouse button down zero which is the left mouse button I want to shoot the ball sorry shoot the ball so how are we gonna do that so there is a function called add force by which we can give this any 3d object force to in a certain directions so for that we first need to attach a rigid body component to this game object that we, we can simulate physics on this object so we have attached a rigid body game object next uh, we want ball dot get component type rigid body dot add force okay and add force uh, for uh, giving force we need a direction in an amount of force in a direction right now i'm just giving in a front direction so vector 3 dot front vector 3 dot forward sorry vector 3 dot forward and some amount of force and uh, force mode dot impulse I'm using the force mode impulse because I found this thing works better in game objects. There's other methods like acceleration, force, impulse, velocity change, but the impulse works better. I think it's a force without any uh, friction or something like that. I guess that is okay. This works fine for me. So this way we can uh, give it as force in something direction. So let's test it. Okay, I'm giving reference to the ball and playing the scene. And as you can see, we have given some force to this ball. So, what our aim is, we want to shoot the ball in a particular direction. So, how do we know we can shoot the ball wherever our mouse goes? So to give the point, we need to uh, create a raycast from the screen in this particular direction and uh, wherever we need to get the point wherever our mouse goes and we need to shoot our ball into that uh, direction from the ball to the point. So to get that, first we need to create a target game object then we're gonna move the target game object into in this this uh, x x and y plane and uh, we we're going to uh, create an angle from that point from the ball and shoot the ball in the direction so for that i'm going to create a plane is equal to new plane and uh, it's a direction so we want direction to in different direction so vector 3 dot front forward sorry and for the floor per d purpose we are going to give 0 and we also need a public transform target we want the target is where we want to shoot our ball okay I'm making uh, a new which is game over plane this side okay first I'm making a uh, target game object which will move wherever our cursor will go which will follow our cursor and then we will shoot the ball at, at the, this point for that I'm going to make a 3d cube okay and I'm giving a material to this so that we can see this better and uh, this, is this is a temporary material so just give it a bright color so that i can see it and where is our, this one is okay DR. 
and legacy self emission diffuse okay so this is our target so to get the point first we need to recast from our camera to that plane and then we get the hit point and on that hit point we're gonna place our target on the hit points so here we're gonna recast in the scene so we're gonna create a float and we're gonna create a needed ray ray is equal to camera dot main from a screen point to ray and where we want to put it we want to put on the screen put dot mouse position next we want to get the collision the hit point where the ray hit on this plane so if plane dot ray cast and we need to give a ray and a float enter so ray for ray we're going to give it an array and for the float okay so now we're going to we need to store the point in a vector 3 point will equal to ray dot get point at the distance and now we when we have get the point we just need to assign position to our target so what you want target dot position equal to new vector 3 point dot x comma point dot y comma 0 we don't want any movement in z direction so let's test this if our target is moving with our cursor this is our target and i hope this will move okay yeah this is moving now as you can see this target object is moving with our cursor and now we just need to get the direction between this target point and our ball and we need to shoot this ball into this direction so to get the direction between the target and ball we just need to simply subtract them so to get the direction we need to store the vector 3 direction in from um, target dot position minus ball dot transform dot position so this is our direction in which we want to shoot the ball so instead of uh, this vector 3 dot forward now we just need to give it the direction and let's test this saving my script and playing and two. as you can see that now we have shoot the ball into the direction we want so we want to shoot the ball in this direction as you can see right now it's very fast because we have no, don't give any um, proper amounts of physics and mass so it's going very fast but as you can see that we have successfully able to manage to shoot the ball in any directions so what if we want to shoot this ball oh it's too fast so we need a parameter for the force public float ball force and we're going to replace this with ball force okay and having a mind to give you some ball force okay so we need to give some mass to this ball so it does not go so much fast testing okay right now as you can see it's going very slow so we just need to increase the amount of I forgot to remove this box collider from this object okay 
so right now this will work fine okay yeah it's working fine and I one thing I also want to tell you that uh, for this uh, whole series I changed the physics setting a little bit so I instead of using 9.1 I use negative 80 so this will uh, it look like a like, uh, little bit uh, cartoonish feeling slightly gaming feeling as you can see little bit exaggerated that look nice very when you play the game I hope this is pretty much for this tutorial you can download this uh, project file from the link in description below and please subscribe and keep watching thank you very much